He didn't, he didn't really see it. The dude, see it. the dude he, saw it. The camera can pick it up. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. That's why. Is that just a ghost? You just saw just a, 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 a dark figure just passed yeah. through yeah. the screen. Y'all seen the one with the, uh, I think it was the chick sitting on the couch. And then uh, you can see it was, it was a reflection of the TV. It was like somebody right next to it. Figure, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the rain. Like the rain. Oh, right I want to see the one y'all talking about. Yeah. Okay. I should be like Oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah, the Lord's going to use these uh, spirits out here, man, to, to go crazy on you people, man, to, to, to terrorize them. Put it on fire. All right. Yeah, this is why the, the Most High is uh, known as the King of uh, Terrors. Yeah. There's a lot of principalities you, you can't see with, with the human eye, man. You know? I want to let this brother read it in GMT, though. Okay. I'll read verse 3 again. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, oh, excuse me, chapter 17, verse 3. They thought that their sins had been secret and unnoticed, shielded from, shielded from view, by a dark curtain of forgetfulness. But now they were horribly afraid, confused, and terrified by ghostly forms. Trust me, those are different proud. Man. Okay. Yeah. The only one more proud than them probably is the American. Which is the modern day Egyptians. Yeah. Okay. Not even the dark corners where they lay could protect them from fear. They were surrounded by horrible noises. Grim ghosts with gloomy faces appeared before their eyes. No fire had power to give them light, and the brilliant stars could do nothing to relieve that deathly darkness. He said the stars couldn't do nothing. Bro, it's the fire. Yeah. Fire, fire couldn't. And that fire. was the modern uh, life. Shit. The right. source of light, man. <laughs> to walk around with a torch or, you know, something. That was your flashlight or your, or your lamp. Bro. It was the darkness. He allowed that. Yeah, bro. The scripture say a heavy darkness. You broke darkness. Yeah. Yeah, hey, that's spiritual, fire. though. Yeah. That's how in darkness these people are. Okay. Right. Yeah. In the spirit, they're already that dark. You know, they, they, like the scriptures say in Psalms, that the earth is out of course. They all walk walk on in darkness. The Lord has to literally put darkness on you people, so so you can see. Because <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you don't see shit right now. Go ahead. Can you read that, that verse again. All right. Uh, no fire had to give. No, actually. Uh, yeah. No fire had power to give them light, and the brilliant stars could do nothing to relieve that deathly darkness. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you go to the Middle East, you can see all the stars at night. All the stars at night. And it gives it gives light, you know? Mm -hmm. But this time, man, they, the stars couldn't be, give you light, man. You know? There was only a dreadful fire lit by no human hands that shone on them and their terror and in their terror they believed that the real world was even worse than the things they imagined and why why though because they they say uh, when one sense is taken away the rest of them are heightened you know so with without the sense of sight and you start hearing you think or you think you start hearing things you know it may be a, a brush of a wind and you like oh snap you feel it more you know, so the Lord amplified the rest of their senses, but turned off their ability to see. I'm going to tell a quick, I want to make it quick. But, uh, so, one of my friends, they worked in a, in a carnival out in the middle of the desert. It was like Arizona somewhere. And so they were literally in the middle of the desert. People showed up to the carnival. Well, when the lights go out, he decided to walk off into the, to the, the, the business of the carnival. And he's out there. He, you know, just away from everybody. He's going to smoke whatever he's going to do, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so he gets out there, and then all the lights go out on the carnival. On the carnival. So now the whole desert where it was light is now everything's black. Yep. Completely black. But you can kind of tell, yeah. you know, still a little, little bit of light out here, yes. you know, a little bit. He said right then he heard like Bro. wolves howling all at once, and, and now I was like, damn. So 
And they sound close. He said they were letting me know how close they were and how many they were communicating. We got meat out here. And they, he said in the <laughs> next second he turned and went to an all-out sprint for his life back yeah. to the car. Wolf? He went, he, yeah, that's what he thought he heard. Shit. He took off and ran with everything he had. Didn't think nothing. He said, hey, I can hear him. And they were uh, I can deal with the synchronized. Not no wolves. <laughs> He said, the up. Cut, All he heard was that howling. He said, I never saw one, but it sounded like they were feet away. Too close. Yeah. He just turned and said, because they were howling, I knew they wasn't moving yet, so I just turned and went with everything I had back. Yeah, because those are those are uh, nocturnal animals. Yeah, you know? they can see. see. In the dark. Yeah, they can I see perfectly. See they see and they, they just everything. watching. Bro. He said, when I walked out there, I could see there was nothing around. There was no animals around. But by the time the lights went out within 10 seconds, they were like right close to me, how? And they didn't walk up. Yeah, drive the, drive up the 215 at night and yeah. look up into the mountains. Yeah. yeah. yeah you'll see uh, red eyes and shit. Yeah. 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 Those, those, those animals, man. Right. Yeah, they are. Those, those mountain lions, coyotes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they say the fight yeah. when the lockdown happened, they, they, you know, the animals start coming into the city. So they, they went down the road. Yeah. Right. If and you ever take there. the drive up Charleston up to go uh, towards uh, Red Rock, mm -hmm. yep. where you come out on Blue Diamond, yep. that big old uh, road, okay. you, if you ever just stopped in the middle of the night, man, you, you sense like, some hills up. yeah, there's some shit out there, man. Yeah, you kind. Know? kind. Yeah, so it's just like that, you know? Just imagine when the lights go out. And then you start hearing, you know, it's not just gonna, it's gonna be an eerie silence too, but, you're gonna start hearing uh, gunfire. Yeah. You're gonna start hearing people screaming. Yeah. People getting deleted. You know, woman yeah. getting taken. Yep. All that, man. Yeah, about to get serious, man. <laughs> you know, you know, you. It's something about a woman when she's when she's screaming, when she's really afraid. Yeah. When a woman screams yeah. in fear, it's a it's that that sound. It's like piercing, man. Yeah. You know. Right. You got something. Yeah, uh, this is a I wisdom, wisdom of Solomon 19 and verse verse 17 and it says these people were also struck with blindness like the men of Sodom who came to the door of that righteous man Lot okay. they found themselves in total darkness as each one groped around to find his own door yeah, that's, that's one of the punishments the Lord can put on you, man. It's, uh, it's the plague of blindness. Walking in blindness. You know, blind, hey, the Lord make you blind, man. That'll humble you real quick. Maybe five. You're open, you're vulnerable, man. You're done. Yeah. You can't see it. Jamie Foxx, I just want to make a quick point. Jamie Foxx did a reporting. I don't know how true it is, but from what the reports are, he's blind and paralyzed. So imagine being fully able bodied, and now. You don't have the, the, the ability to move. Sensitization is gone. None of that. Or the sense of sight. But your ears are open. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! You know? Imagine the shit he's seen and done and been a part of. And now he's thinking about and, it. And, and, and the Lord has given him time to think. Hey. He made it. Oh, you can only think right now. Yep. <laughs> That's cold, bro. Yep. I have one. Yep. Um. This is Isaiah 66. Hey, if you judge like that, man, the Lord had to bring you across the prophets one, one time or another, man. You ain't, you ain't hearken to them. Oh, this is bro, that's right. Isaiah 66 and verse 4. It says, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. That's it, man. So what the Lord is speaking through his prophets, man. You better hearken. If you don't hearken, man, you just you just mark for death, man. So I don't know how the Lord gonna put your ass to death, but he's gonna do it. In one of these ways, man. You know? And now we're talking about the plague of darkness. You know, which is just one of many plagues that's the Lord. Father, way more creative than that. Just a thousand ways. 
He said, he said he's gonna bring your fears upon them. Yeah. Their fears. You know, so the Lord knows you. He knows what, what you're afraid of, man. And that's what I think is gonna happen. I think your worst fears are gonna come okay. to you. Exactly. You know? Wisdom of Solomon. This back in Wisdom of Solomon chapter seven, 17 and verse 7. The illusions produced by their magic tricks were put to shame. And all the wisdom they had boasted of come to nothing. Mm -hmm. What is that going yeah, into? Kind of, that's going into those magi. Yeah, the left hand. Working with that left hand power, man. Even in these times when he saw pseudoscience, their, their uh, you know, all their fake magic and bullshit they're gonna bring forth. The technology. The technology, yeah. yeah the artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. Kind, because yeah. that's their that's their wisdom. Yeah. yeah. Because the scripture tell you that uh, during the time of uh, those plagues, they were able to, to duplicate them, a few of them on the left-hand side. Yeah. But when it came to darkness, it was nothing that they could do. Right. You know? Showing you that the right is more powerful than the left again. Yeah, there was, uh, yeah. there was, um, like when they was, they had to, uh, they took the, they turned the, the staff staffs into kind, snakes. Kind, kind. They put the staff that, the, the, the snake that Moses, Moses had. Yeah. It ate swallowed. up. The, it swallowed the, their snakes. Yeah. Right. And then um, Moses, he we put the staff in the water, and it, the, water. the water turned to blood. Right. They tried to emulate it in a little bowl yeah. or something like right. that, but it wasn't the same. That's right. All they see, all their marine life in those rivers, all died. Right. <laughs> so that that was a that was a plague that that you know. I told them Egyptians up. Exactly. So people are gonna know that this. This is not of of men. This ain't man. Yeah, this yeah. is not something that men can do. This is supernatural. Correct. Okay. This can't be explained. You know, like those, like the chariots that they keep uh, sighting. Them, them, the, the so-called UFOs. Mm -hmm. Esau keep trying to figure them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Trying to uh, duplicate it. They're trying to duplicate the technology. They they keep having all these um, uh, 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 councils on it. You know, at the at the Pentagon, they keep talking about it. They keep disclosing more documents and information on them, but they still just can't seem to figure figure they out, figure them out, and how they're able to do the things that they're doing. Yeah, they're terrified. They're terrified, and they really don't have an answer for the public. You know, the people are. You know, eventually it's going to get to a point where people are going to start asking questions. They're going to know what what is this? What are these? And they're going to be like. Shh. They're going to have to make up some bullshit. You know what, they are. What's your answer for these? Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do to what, protect us from these? What, do we, what defense system do we have? Yep. And Esau know they can't. They, they got all these weapons. They, I think I even did a lesson on it. These niggas tried to put a uh, machine gun on a satellite. <laughs> you know, yeah. they, they, they've done all types of stuff. They got, they got this shit called a rail gun. Yeah. That, uh, they got all these, you know, things. And we know that they're to fight against the chariots, but... That shit ain't gonna work. They, they're trying to, uh, they got laser weapons. Yeah, yeah. That's what they're yeah. hoping is gonna be. Yeah, they, they have laser weapons, exactly, the do. And then they have uh, laser weapons in their airplanes and in their ships. You know, a laser weapon travels faster than a bullet. But we know that these things can't hurt the chariots, man. Yeah. These chariots aren't made of, of human flesh and, and, and human arm and armor that we, we humans use out here in the, in the world. Okay. These are spiritual, uh, celestial. Celestial, man. This is this is all pure energy, man. You can't contain that. You can't control it. You can't hurt it. You know. <laughs> which, is, which is another plague that's coming. Okay. <laughs> Our Lord Yahweh Shai is gonna come with his, his band of angels, man, and they're gonna be coming in so-called UFOs, yeah. which is called the chariots of Israel. It's, it's gonna be an invasion <laughs> on the planet it's Earth, man. Those chariots are going to shoot out concentrated laser fire on people, man. Destroying a whole lot of shit, man. You know? And that's one of the plagues that's in the Bible, man. And the, the, the chariots, the angels, man, sometimes they, they give, the, the Most High gives them permission to go and, like, terrorize and mess with, with, with people. Like, it was a, um, it was a, it was a story where this, uh, this old, this, this pilot who was flying uh, aircraft, and he realized his plane started to like go at a different altitude and the speed started okay. to, to yeah. go past 
the um what's the the governor no no no, no. what's the um, the thing with that 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 that, that gauges your your speed, your speed in the case of